hey guys welcome back to my channel and today's video it actually took me three different times to complete um, anyways you guys are gonna get to see how I decluttered organized all three of my kids into one room in uh, we're living in a basement suite right now and I have some small space hacks organizations for you uh, this video is also in collaboration with my girl Lacey over at it's all messy mama I love this girl. I love the way that she organizes her mobile home. It's beautiful. She just got new floors. Anyhow, um, go ahead and in the description bar below, go ahead and check out her channel. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hey y'all, it's Lacey from It's All Messy. Over on my channel, you'll find mobile home repairs, DIYs, and a whole lot of cleaning. I hope y'all check it out. Thanks. <laughs> I'm cleaning the kids mattresses um, I do try to clean it um, take off the mattress protector every so often and get that cleaned um, however I'm a little too short to be cleaning a bunk bed as you can see here but I'm, I'm still trying I don't know if you guys have any tips on how to clean the top bunk please go ahead and leave that below let me know what y'all do no one can do it like you if you guys have had the same issue where before in the past I have purchased used furniture and it's been fine it doesn't have the wood doesn't have the smell to it however this furniture I'm not exactly sure but it just kind of has that musty smell to it I do remember when I was a kid my grandma would put mothballs in the drawers and I never could understand why um, anyways if you guys have any tap tips or hacks or whatnot to get rid of this smell um, that musty smell in the furniture please comment below let me know any tricks I tried a bunch of stuff not sure that it worked it kind of masked the smell for a bit um, I did read a blog that basically said to put a, a dryer sheet in there I'm gonna go ahead and try that but I did try to get the smell out of this dresser and uh, because we don't plan on replacing it until we actually move again um, anyhow let me know below I did pick up a couple of items to organize the dresser on Jen's side. Um, just a couple of stuff from Dollarama. So that's uh, Canada's Dollar Tree equivalent. We do have a Dollar Tree. I did go there, but I found some really cute stuff at Dollarama. And I was just showing you guys really quickly here. Um, the audio didn't pick up that well. That's why I'm just doing a voiceover. But anyhow, I'm just showing you guys the really cute little stuff that I got to organize the dresser. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. 
She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they wanna be. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under this subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her let me paint a picture, I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso, she brushing against my hands Seen you from around the way, you didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that yeah, who really care what Simon say All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad hat, whoa Slow it down like that, just hold me down like that
this room does have quite a bit of adequate storage space so I do want to make sure that like I try to use it to the best of my ability and just kind of get a little bit creative. Um, here you'll see me actually folding some clothes and putting them away. Um, the closet does have a desk but uh, because it is a basement it's I feel like you know you need to be in front of a window or something like that uh, to kind of keep yourself awake especially if you do want to do online learning and whatnot um, but anyways the desk can be used for a various multiple purposes as well These string lights I thought were such a cute little find at the dollar store. Um, I was able to attach some of the pictures that I had printed, honestly from a couple years ago. Um, I saved them back. I just printed them, I think it's like a one by one, like the Instagram size, like a perfect square. And um, I just hung them up on the string lights. It honestly looks like I planned it. I mean, I didn't, but it's really, really cute. In these sheets, holding you, holding me, easy love. Wednesday night, just hanging out, us two. Just got home and you turn on some blues. Then tell me you're hungry, I go order China. this side so this is sort of a uh, the shelving it does have a little built-in desk which is really handy so Genesis is learning from home so she's got her little school supplies there these clothes are actually the clothes that I have for Jeremiah from Malachi so they're just a little bit too big for him right now but he'll fit into them so I just keep them there and some of them are sentimental as well uh, there's my little hair bag, some more storage up there, and this is the closet. So the closet is done, in my opinion. So here are some little fairy lights, and then I'll show you guys a little close-up of how I organize this. So this little tray is from the dollar store, so I just put her nail polishes and her deodorant. She said that she wanted to display her little teddy bears and these are little slimes and then in here we have some painting supplies and markers I believe it's in there and yeah I'll give you guys a little close-up up here I just put some pictures that I had already printed um, to go on the little string lights and then that's the humidifier for the kids so I'm going to be putting more things up there once I get a couple more bins. Same thing for the boys. It's a good way to store the little toys. And um, probably some more maybe books or something. The kids have tons of books. And those are Jen's little craft supplies on the very bottom. Let's see how long this will stay like this for. Okay, Genesis wants to do this closing little part of the video. So... I'm going to go ahead and she can let you guys know how we organized everything, even though you're not 100% sure of what I actually did. I already explained it. I know. Okay, go ahead. Take the show. We cleaned it up. You did not clean this up. <laughs> what? I helped you. I took stuff to the garbage. Yeah, that stuff that you should have been taking to the garbage. I don't know if that's helping me. Uh, okay, well, it's clean. Make sure you guys subscribe, give a big thumbs up, turn on the post notifications bell, and uh, go follow her IG popping up on the screen. Oh, oh. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>